Here we have the function f of x equal to 4 dividing by x minus 1. And this is what the graph looks like. And if we look at the graph, it doesn't look like we have any maximum or minimum. It looks like we might have some critical numbers right here. And so let's find the uh, critical numbers and then uh, see if we have any maximum or minimum. And so first, let's find the uh, derivative of that. The function f of x here is a uh, quotient, and so to get the derivative, we need to get, we will use the um, quotient rule for derivative. So it'll be x minus 1 times the derivative of the top, and then minus the top times the derivative of the uh, denominator, x minus 1. And then the whole thing dividing by x minus 1 squared. And that's using the quotient rule for derivative. Derivative of the constant 4 right here, this is 0. Derivative of x is 1. Derivative 1 is 0, so we get 1 minus 0, which is just 1. And so we end up with and uh, this is 0, so 0 times uh, x minus 1 times 0, this is going to be 0. And so right here we end up with negative 4 dividing by x minus 1 squared. And again, the, uh, the definition of a critical number is uh, where the uh, derivative is not differentiable or where the derivative is not un the undefined or where the derivative is equal to 0. And so since we have a uh, quotient here, if we look here, if we let x be 1, then this will be 0. And then that's where the derivative is undefined. So if we do f prime of 1, then we get a 1 right here. And this would be negative 4 divided by 0, which is undefined. So when the uh, when derivative is not undefined at 1, we say that this function right here, the original function, is not differentiable at x equal to 1. And so that's where the critical... So by definition of critical number, we have a critical number at x equal to 1. And then let's go ahead and find the uh, f of 1. f of 1 is also undefined. So what this means is this, when x is 1, y it is undefined. And so uh, one way to get critical numbers is uh, look for where the derivative is undefined. And so that's where the derivative is undefined, and that's where the function, the uh, function is not differentiable. So the other way is to set the uh, the, the other way to find the um, critical numbers is by setting uh, the derivative equal to zero and solve for x. If 
uh, possible And then if we uh, set this equal to zero, this should be the derivative. So we set the negative four. The voting by x minus one squared equal to zero. But this quantity right here, it can only be zero if the numerator is equal to zero. Because if the bottom is equal to zero, then we get undefined. And so the only way that this quantity here is equal, can be equal to zero if the top is equal to zero. But here the top is equal to, it's always going to be negative four. And therefore this will never be equal to zero. It's not equal to zero, so therefore there's no, uh, there's nothing, there's no critical numbers from here. And so the only critical number we have is just the x equal to one. X is equal to one. And earlier we saw that when x is 1, y it is undefined. And now we uh, look back at the graph. This is where x is equal to 1, and that's why we have a vertical asymptote. And that's where the function is undefined. And so for this uh, particular example, the only thing we have is x equal to 1. No maximum, no minimum, anywhere. And plus, we can see that the graph right here will go up, infinitely up, and then infinitely down. And then in this area, there's no maximum, no minimum, no relative maximum, no relative minimum. So the only thing we have is just a critical number at x equal to 1.